gonna be the main one that Lol is gonna be down for. They are gonna be in so much trouble for eating sweet. Yeah, and we'll see, I mean, how they want to play around it because it's just... Like, the Ursa from the last game had a really good start, you know, it wasn't really overly contested. The, the game itself was, a, you know, a, a, a slower game, it, there was a little bit less aggression. But here, I think both sides have the potential to put the pressure on. And I'm looking forward to seeing how, you know, Team Spirit answer back into this Ursa, because Navi in that last game just had no answers whatsoever. Uh, and you answer him by crushing his teammates. Uh, there's not going to be enough uh, initiation and ability to see what's happening on the map from the side of uh, from the side of Navi as much as Spirit had in the previous game. You have a clockwork. You have multiple crystal made. It's that far. All of those helps you. What does help here? Treant? Ah, not really. Tiny? Until he gets a blink. Again, not really. And a bat rider, he needs the boots of travels and stuff like that. So you need a strong visage that can stand his ground. Avi are again going to be looking to slow down the game. Again, I said it even in game number one. One. Against the team like Spirit. They are going to recognize it. They might not have done it in game. Now they'll recognize it. They'll run away. Yeah, Mira has to be careful. I mean, he does have that Crystal Maiden, but he's trying to get himself in. He does actually get the rune and get himself out with the tether as well. That was cheeky from Mira, but it pays off. Beautiful. He gets fed a Tango, has the Headdress. He'll be, uh, he'll be more than happy to return to the lane where they've already taken down the trees with the Trample. So, Team Spirit are, uh, are going to be quite fine. I'm hoping Collapses bring Tangos. Yeah. Playing the lane without the Tangos even happy. No, but yeah, he was uh, ready to go all in before the other runes did drop here with the, you know, the three branches with that um, extra move speed coming through. So the, the wind lace, you know, offering a little bit more utility here with that trample, a little bit bonus damage because obviously it's, it, it scales off how fast you do move the damage that you put out with this trample. And you can see the uh, Malady he's trying to get, uh, he's got a really nice ward down. He got that down before, again, the very beginning of the game, before the runes dropped, he did get, get this ward down here. So Malady should be able to see any pulls that do come through, um, any couriers that are moving up as well, if he wants to potentially look for a, a courier snipe, which I think that's what he was going for, though, before Mira shut him down. Uh, he was he was trying to bully Mira. He can't really do much to collapse. He's going to get trapped and uh, You know, if Mira is connected to collapse, you're not really to him, especially with the armor, but you yeah. are trying to, to push the wisp back so that the thing is this this lane only gets harder. The only thing you can really do in it is kind of secure the farm. Yeah, and um, looking at the mid lane, so we're going to see Lal coming up against Nikki Cool on his bat rider once again here, Nikki Cool. This time, Lal on the Pangalia. He's going to be going for the. Um, would you go for more swashbuckle against the the bat rider just to, to offer you know the escape, or do you want that shield crash? No, the, the slow on the bat is more valuable than getting away from it. Because you get away from it with the swashbuckle, he turns you back with the... Yeah. But if you're slowing down with the shield crash and he can't get on top of you, that's the... That's the way that you... That's the way... That, that's why even in Ursa in the mid lane, you... <laughs> stuff like that, because you have that potential. Pango does the same thing with the shield crash and he is a... Is the, is the same. Yeah, and it looks like as well that uh, Pangalia, he picks up the boots before he goes for the bottle. So he wants that extra movement speed, you know, he wants that extra mobility coming out um, on the Pangalia. And Nicky Cool, how is he looking? It actually looks like he's got that bottle first item. So he's going to be a little bit behind on the movement. And in fact, with the Sticky Napalm, I mean, the Sticky Napalm stack up, Pangalia, he's going to be down to 289 with four stacks, but 345 with those boots. Nikki Cool, he's got them coming out on the next item, but it is just going to be a little bit of extra mobility here for the Pangalia in this early part of the lane. Top lane collapse is already diving. We talked about the uh, Primal Beast and the IO diving. I wasn't really thinking about minute three, but yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's what's happening. That's what's... Also, I mean, look at the bottom lane. This time around, Miposhka is not taking any damage. This is just going to allow Yutoro to get everything he wants. Now we are getting decimated. In it's 0-0 zero zero in kills, but in terms of CS, they are not playing. 
Yeah, you can see that all three cores on the side of Navi, you know, they've got those last hits. They're stacking them, uh, excuse me, all three cores on the side of Spirit, excuse me, are stacking the last hits over Navi. And Maposhka, like you say, he's got a lot of regen coming into this lane. Six tangos to start off with a salve as well as a stick. So he is going to have that survivability to be offered in this lane. And they, like I so said, this time, Lays, they don't have the burst damage coming through um, enough to be able to get the kill onto Maposhka. Maposhka's just playing back safe, it looks like there as well. Sweet and strong. Not going to be able to close the gap as well onto the Crystal Maiden. So this lane could be a little bit different from that first game, like you were talking about. Collapse on the top lane as well. He's not scared of coming back behind that tier 1 tower, getting onto the creep wave. And Malady, he's got the leech seed, so he's going to offer some sustain to himself. But he doesn't really have the harass damage to come out against Collapse. If you look at this bit, they're not really killable in the side lanes. The supports are, but they're smart enough to keep their distance. Maybe now with Sweden Strong getting level 3, if he could as well, they might be able to kill the Crystal Maiden, but that doesn't mm. matter. Larl is approaching that level 6. I'm expecting I'm expecting so many rotations. To, cause it's not like the Bat Rider is pressure your tower. No, a, you know, not, not a big build and take it. Yeah, the, the thing, Nikki Cool is just going to mirror any movements that Lol makes then once he hits that level 6 himself to try and counter gank any lanes that Pangolin wants to apply pressure on. I think you mirror it, but literally not going to lane where the Pango is opposite one. Right. That's, that's how I think. Because where the Pango is with the Rolling Thunder, unless he's already invested and made a big blunder going way too deep, then okay, we can punish him. But even then, it's not certain that the bat will get on top. Yeah, and Lyle now, he's not too far, what, a creep or two away from that level 6, so he is going to have... Um the mana as well if he wants to, to TP to a lane maybe apply that pressure how's bat looking in terms of the levels as well Nikki cool yeah so this creep wave both heroes should be getting that level 6 top lane collapse again Th this isn't even his tower and he's just so comfortable with Mira backing him up just playing underneath the tier 1 what are you talking about <laughs> what the hell does that look like to you yeah, Collapse, he's going to be taking a lot of damage coming through the nature's grass. He's going to be the Earthshot coming through from Vichun as well. He's still going to be able to dive himself away. Level 1 here into the Onslaught, so he is going to have that um, really wide dive away here from the Primal Beast to get himself out of danger. If he needs that Ripcord, you know, needs that Eject Button, he can press it and just immediately get out of danger. Because until level 6 onto the Treon, there's no real lockdown on this on this lane here for the side of Na'Vi. Robbie and me used to cast the Division 3 European DPC and Tour 1 and Tour 2 in the previous year. Man, they were like this every game. Until 7 minutes, <laughs> nothing is happening. And I was always like, okay, at least Division 1 didn't adopt it. But after a year, Division 1 understands this is the way to play Dota. And we, we now see it in Spirit. They just don't want to touch each other. I love this. The mid lane, it looks like Lolly. Is he going to go down here? Nikki Cool does pick up the first blood. I love that he waited. He got himself on top with the Firefly as Collapse does get the kill onto V-Tune in the top lane. And is there going to be aggression on the bottom lane? The Force Bike comes out now, but there's going to be the toss back. So CK, he couldn't, he didn't actually use the, the Chaos Bolt to get the stone onto Lays and the toss away. But yeah, mid lane, we saw Nikki Cool. He waited. He waited for the Rolling Thunder animation to come out and then he dropped the lasso. Didn't drop it straight away because you were already on top of the Pangolia and he got enough damage to get the kill off with that Firefly still ticking. I like it. That's actually a nice, good way to make sure that the Arl isn't ganking. And he's TPing to the top lane, whereas the Ursa TPed into the uh, mid lane to refill the... That's interesting. Okay, that means that they want the tower. Without the siege creep, with these two heroes, you're not getting it. Hmm. Nope. Maori though, he's in the trees, does Collapse want to dive into it? He does have, does have that Onslaught if he wants to use it, but there's still a bit... I mean, the Living Armor comes out, this Creep Wave, and you can see the Pangolier already moving himself back into the mid lane here, lol. And how much damage did he get? Didn't get anything onto that mid tier 1 tower. Nikki cool. If I'm Navi, I'm happy, man. The lane started off pretty badly for them. Now, when we see the bat, he's way ahead of the, uh, the Pango. And Lace, he didn't have a great lane, but he's not being bullied by the Pango as, as I thought he would be. So he's at least going to be able to get some nice levels here. He still hasn't died a single... If I'm Navi, I'm super happy. I thought the, uh, the starting lane is going to be way, uh, way 
way too dangerous for them. Yeah, it's really strong. Actually picked up the Invis rune here now as well, just to make sure Lyle can't bottle it off. Um, Mapashka came in with the Frostbite onto the Batrider, but the Wonder Thunder's going to come down, and now the Urshock, he has to swashbuckle himself away from that. There isn't a lasso for the next 10 seconds, so they couldn't um, take advantage of the Rolling Thunder wearing off, but it's just enough to keep the Batrider alive, and that's the most important part of that fight breaking out. Good rotation coming in from the Tiny to make sure that he offered some protection against the um, after the, the Frostbite came out from Mapashka, and the Batrider just pulls a, a stage left left and gets himself out of danger uh, this is this is okay for navi their towers aren't dropping we'll see now if collapse will be able to take the uh the top tower this is this would be big if he can and it seems like no one is rotating so it will be going down so despite navi you know getting uh some gold on their back and you know not not really needing too many kills they're still gonna let go of this tower and that is that is not ideal ursa just isn't having that great of a game and getting a battle fury and the uh, and the power treads he has a long win yeah, but it looks like he is being given the mid lane here to, to help uh, find that farm, find the solo experience. And it's... I mean, the, the Batrider's in the jungle, so the Batrider's going to be looking for the stacks. They give the, the the solo mid lane over to the Ursa, which means, you know, if there's anything that kicks off the Ursa, he's just going to be able to hang on this side of the river as well. The TPs that come in um, will offer some protection, so... He's got he's level six as well, so he's got the enrage, so he's got the extra protection himself. So I think at the minute, as long as Vtune doesn't cross the river, there's a low threshold of kill potential here that comes out against the Ursa. So he is going to be given that time just to find the farm that he needs. In fact, Nikki Cool might just back away and give this farm over to Vtune here as well, so he can get closer to those power treads, closer to the Battle Fury. It's all about these spirit, right? Navi, we already talked about it. Their heroes aren't really capable of making plays. I mean, yeah. you have. A tiny, who without the blink dagger, not that powerful. Treant, not gonna be doing anything other than pushing out the top lane. Even the, uh, the Visage, he needs to stand in a lane. So, Spirit know this, and Spirit are calculating right now what they need to do. I still think Varl could have gotten a few kills on the map, getting a bit more of a lead for his team, but for now, they seem comfortable not doing anything. So, I'm kind of thinking Team Spirit, they kind of want to force out the same scenario as they did in the previous game. Poke, poke, poke on the top lane in the enemy jungle, force Navi to overextend, crush them, and from that, take over the game. That's the, uh... That's the idea. That's something I would be gunning for if I was in their spot. Now we are actually allowing the mid lane tower to take some unnecessary damage. This is this should be prevented for sure, especially because you have a tree. Yeah, the living armor is coming out on this mid lane tower, but the catapult is going to be there as well. So they are going to be able to stack some damage. In fact, Lyle's going to be taking the tower shots as well, just to make sure this creep wave gets here before the tower targets onto that catapult creep. And this tier 1 tower, 300 health left. This might actually go down here with the help of the catapult. Living armor comes out again with Poshka. Just going to be on the front lines. Crystal Nova does get dropped onto Vtune. Hastier for the Pangolier. Lyle, does he want to try and make something happen? The Frostbite as well. Onto the Tiny, but it looks like Lyle, he doesn't want to overcommit. And it's going to be the deny onto the tier 1 tower, but it does still go down, which creates the space, you know, creates the access to both the, the, the triangle and the dire jungle here from the side of Team Spirit. And in fact, Collapse is saying, I didn't need access to be granted to me. This is my jungle anyway, and I'm going to be taking all the farm I want from this. And finally, there's the Team Spirit rotation to work. Place? He's, he seems like he's not aware, but this time around, he has a mech. He's not really that easy to target for sure. Mm. Yeah, this time he is going to be going towards the Guardian's Greaves. Uh, Yataro is going to be coming through. Lal, does he want to go in with a roll in Thunder? It looks like he wants to be building towards the Diffusal Blade here now as well. But Lays, he's just hanging himself back behind these trees. He doesn't want to give himself away. Like you say, they're not sure where everyone is on the map. So the Spidey sets here for the Visage, just tingling. And the, the, he doesn't come too far forwards. Just underneath the Tier 1, just in case anything kicks off. So those TPs can come in to protect him strong in the mid lane he's playing with fire really yeah he only has the backup of maori here maori level seven so he does have the overgrowth and it's creating space for vtune at least vtune is finding the farm you know he's going to be able to get himself towards that battle fury he does pick that up now so that's going to accelerate his farm out but you know who is this really benefiting in here 12 minutes in one to one in terms of kills both teams getting the space for the carries that they need is this more you know it does Yutaro prefer this, or do, does Team Spirit need to get aggressive and look to put the pressure onto the Ursa sometime soon? It doesn't have to be the Ursa. Team Spirit wants kills. Their lineup is very good at getting kills, though. Considering that they're taking down towers and not getting kills, that's fine with them as well, because um, you're losing the map 
as Navi and you're going for a battle for your hero. So having a low amount of map is... That, yeah. is, that is why Team Spirit are okay by not... So what, they're going to try and make a dive in onto the Vestigian as well. The Swashbuckle comes out, but there is going to be this stun. Freezing Field's going to be there, and they get the kill onto Lays Mira. All five heroes from the side of Spirit are down here. Sweden Strong has to run himself away. They have the root onto Maladie as well. Maladie's going to be taken down, and they get the kill onto Sweden Strong. Can they go even further onto this Nikki Cool? Relocate, but it only drags back onto the IO. Nikki Cool, he's not going to use that lasso. Collapse, big tanky boy. Looking towards finishing off that BKB there as well. So a good rotation. And Spirit, they get three kills out of that. Don't lose anyone. Mirrors and Collapse's positioning has kind of been the, the main thing of this game. Not a lot of things are happening, but yep. what is happening is that they're poking on the top, giving info to their team, and constantly pulling some heroes. And that is creating so much protection. Look at this, Collapse, he wants to get in, he's got the BKB this time as well, he's going to use that Tumblr's toy and the Trample. Now there's going to be the last though coming out onto the Primal Beast, do they have enough lockdown to kill up Collapse? Collapse, that BKB will be worn off sometime soon, and they do get the kill Lays, he's going to be able to get some revenge, gets himself a dual kill here on the Poshka and Collapse, and it looks like Navi, do they want to chase even further? There's no overgrowth, but it looks like Yutaro and Mira are going to be backing themselves away, and lol, he was already out there as well. Team Spirit want to fight this. They're staying in the area, showing that they want to fight this once their heroes are up. This is this is kind of dangerous for Navi, especially if Team Spirit start bringing. Okay, Laurel doesn't have a TP. Then this should be it. This really should be it. Or Laurel went to the mid lane and doesn't have a TP, and Navi. Yeah, and they do take this tier one tower, like you say. So Vtune's gonna be able to pick that one up, get him out. He's got about. What's that? Just over a thousand gold to catch up with with the Chaos Knight and Yutaro. He's. You know, Yutaro is looking really good. He's using the Phantasms to farm. He's looking for the uh, extra speed, but the relocate's going to be coming in. In fact, they might actually find out Nikki Cool. There's going to be the relocate onto the Bat Rider with the Pulverize now as well. They get the Frostbite, they get the Lockdown. They're going to get the Bat. That's... And every time I see the Pulverize, I want to see the interactions. <laughs> the Reality Rift just pulls you out of it. I I just have a friend who spam Prime of Beast for a and he always gets annoyed. Spell it doesn't work. Like it doesn't work. Like every single thing cancels it or sometimes when you expect something to cancel it, it just doesn't. Yeah. It's weird people are still getting used to it, but obviously if you pull a uh, a hero out of his arms, he's not gonna be able to smash it into the ground any longer. Spirit are just allowed to do whatever they want on the map because mm. Navi have no play potential until Sweden Strong bling. And I don't know at that point. There's kinda gonna be Cores to tank it to kill, and the only one that you're going to be able to bring down is the pistol lane and putting yourself in a vulnerable. I, I wouldn't want to be. Especially Look at this wraparound. Yeah, Lay's going to be chased down. Reality, if the drag back, the familiars are going to be there. Can they carry on chasing? He's going to try and use the mechanism to keep himself alive. Going towards those guardians. In fact, he changed his mind to the pipe, but yeah, there's, he's, he's still going to be dead. One more rifle come through from the Chaos Knight. They do get the kill, and now they might even be able to go for more, but there's going to be the tossback onto Mali. So Mira, he's trying to get himself away from this one. Where's that tether? Does he have it up? He's going to be able to get himself right back onto Yataro. And the way they started that fight, they went around the backside of the creeps into the trees, knowing that they, if they walk through the the vision that Lays could just go for the TP away. Really nice positioning coming through from the Chaos Knight and the Io to move out of vision of the Dire Creeps and find the kill onto the Visage. And while this is happening, v is barely surviving. It's not like he's hitting Creeps or He's just going for a BKB to try to make that one fight happen like in the previous game. But mm. where do you actually attack Creeps? Look at the vision of Team Spirit. Top lane, worth it. Bottom lane, they are uh, they're controlling it with their heroes. It's just impossible for Navi to play Dota. Yeah, and oh, bottom lane, they might even be able to take down Sweden, Swan, Str Sweden, Sweden Strong. As the Reality Rift comes in, Yutaro picks up the kill here, and Mira just grouping up with the Chaos Knight. Chaos Knight is online. Vtune could be able to get a kill into my pocket. Did he want to go even further, though? The relocate's going to be coming in. This is going to be the Reality Rift. He take down Vtune. He's just straight up dead. He'd already used the Enrage. It was down for another 10 seconds, and they're going to be able to open up the map once again here on the side of Spirit. Nicky Cool, he's used that lasso so... There's nothing else that they can do here. They can't even try and posture up to take down Mira as he relocates back in because Yutaro, he's still got the Phantasm. He's still got the kill potential and they might even go for more here. Nikki Cool, going to be slowed down, but the, the Nature's Grass does come out onto the lane and uh, Yutaro doesn't have a Blink Dagger just yet. We get you here, uh, Rob. It's fine that you can't pronounce with a strong name because it's very tough 
to call someone strong when you're seeing them just be <laughs> on your screen over and over again. Like, literally, he, he can't find impact in his game. And you know, fighting and all has been found once again and brought down once again. Yeah, I like the fact that he must have been micro in the familiar there because he doesn't even react when Yutaro comes up and just boops him in the nose. Give you know, it up. It, it's not that, that he didn't react. Like, what, the, what was he supposed to do? Like, the only thing he can do is panic, but the, uh, you know, the manly stoic thing would be, yeah, that so what? So what? You, you smashed my fist and you live to fight another. At least you don't, uh, you don't trample over your honor. Yeah, okay. That, if that's yeah, that's the narrative we'll go with, then yeah, he was just like, he was being honourable. He was saying that you know you found me and uh, you, I, I deserve this death. I guess you know he wasn't even going to put up the pre pretense of trying to run away. Be tuned though. It looks like he might be able to turn though. The avalanche comes through the rolling thunder and the relocate once again. Be tuned. The toss it away. Trying to tiny, trying to keep his Ursa alive. He's still going to go down. And now Sweden strong. He's going to be the next victim. Four heroes grouping up here with the frostbite. The drive back with the reality rift. He get the kill and even collapse getting in on that at the very end Navi, they all want to die they all yeah. want to die they're coming in they, they want to try and get something from this so they might be able to get the kill onto Maposhka. collapse needs to move himself away from this the lasso is going to be there but primal beast he's holding on to that bkb and now with the familiars being dropping but collapse is going to go in he's still got the bkb but the overdose comes out it stops him mid-charge nikki cool though still going to go down a bit more trample damage and lost secures the kill with the swashbuckle that now lays in the trees anything to stop this out this time they can't close the gap he knows when he can survive. That's when he runs away and he just needs his way. Nothing, nothing about micro familiars. He was micro familiars in that as well. That's okay for uh, for Navi. Actually, I thought when he popped that BKB and went for the CM, they aren't going to be getting anything other than the CM. But they uh, get the BKB of the Primal Beast, so that's quite nice. And in the <laughs> end, they only lose the Path Rider. Not ideal, you know, but in the current scenario, at least you're showing. <laughs> Oh, he has to use the Enrage Ursa. He, he, he turned himself back to get the Ring of Aquila. And Itoro, he just took advantage of this. And now the dive's going to come through. But like I said, the BKB down for the Primal Beast. 50, 40 seconds before that's back up. And Vichun, he's going to go taken down again. Itoro's just running wild on these heroes. The drag back into the Frostbite. The control, the Dream Protector is going to be next. And this is just an absolute run over here from the side of Team Spirit. Itoro, he's in the base. The Tier 2 towers stand. But he wants to go behind the Tier 3s. They make a move onto... Yeah, they're gonna be able to keep him alive here. It looks like Nero's gonna be able to sustain him through this as well. Freezing field being dropped by Maposhka. Three heroes dead on the side of Navi. And now Spirit can back up if they want to go towards. Well, they can't go towards the tier two tower because the creep wave is still pushed up. But still, Ivan tier three is close to tier fours when the tier two tower still stands. That shows you how confident Team Spirit are in this third and final game. Uh, one of stop their already dead moments. Uh, he, uh, traps himself in the trees, he gets himself out. But this is uh, this game is just impossible. Navi, they don't have a way to make a play. They're just gonna wait for Yersa BKB, and once they lose the fight with that one, because I it's tough to see them winning it, they're probably gonna GG out. But you always go for that one big item timing that you've been waiting for for a long time before you GG out, because it still kind of changes the uh, um, the kind of the current flow of the game. Obviously, here the gold lead is way too big for Team Spirit, but you're hoping BKB plus a potential overdive, you can't come back into the game other than... You know, some people, naysayers, would say this is over. Is that me? Am I the naysayer? Am I supposed to say it's is, over? Is it? Is it? Do you think it's over? I mean, you look at Yataro, he's in a very comfortable position over the Ursa. 9-0-1-4 to the 1-4 of the tune here. The smoke's going to come out, though. They might be able to get the lockdown. Can he take down the Crystal Maiden? The Force Lap comes out and Collapse wants to go in. Pops up BKB. The Pulverite comes out. They're going to be able to take down Malady as well. Nikki Cool. Can he get himself away from this? He's popped his own BKB. Going to be able to get the last of the lockdown coming out. All to the Garrus now. He's going to be able to pop the Manta style. And Yataro, can he get himself away? No, Lays does get the kill. And Yataro is going to go down here. They are starting to clean it up. Miposka though he tries to come in with a freezing field collapse he's going to be back in can he take down he's going to be able to get the trample up takes down the ursa and that collapse mira does he have that relocate out he's already used it to get in so mira is he going to be going down next do they get a full five man wipe out of this mira just trying to buy time but there's going to be the blink in the avalanche to toss back and now collapse he might be collapsing with the damage coming out from the side of navi and navi there's going to be a really nice jump through here but the onslaught it's not going to be enough is it is this going to be enough to keep him alive he takes down nikki cool collapse he's running He's still going to be taken down, and Lays will get the kill. 
Do there, Lays keeps his honor, collapses, runs like a coward, <laughs> and dies in there. Just kidding. Of course, he turned around that fight. And actually, the only reason why this fight is somewhat acceptable for Team Spirit. There it is, BKB on the Ursa, and they win a fight. They won that fight. Team Spirit overdived into a BKB of the Ursa. The Ursa stood his ground against the CK and won. And after the CK is dead, the overwhelming damage just isn't there. And the Ursa can clean up, obviously, in the end. It just came down to all of the heroes who were left alive don't really have that much burst damage. So it took a long time for the uh, for the fight to end. But there it is, you know, Ursa being dealing 6.3k damage in the fight and the CK only 2k. It's, uh, it's something that the Team Spirit weren't expecting. It's uh, perfect position for Navi and the perfect timing for Navi. Is it going to be enough to win? Probably not, but it is a good start. Second, this is going to be the first throw, so it's not that big of a deal. Ursa wants to get the second. Throw. The first one, even if he loses it, it's not the end. Yeah, and we can see here Yutaro, he's going to be able to get that Aegis. Now he wants to go towards that heart. He wants to be surviving through these fights a little bit longer. You saw after um, he got on the toss, it's onto a creep. That could have been the instant bye-bye there for the Aegis. I mean, Mira was there to back him up, has that relocate if he needs it. But Yutaro, just by the randomness of the draw, wasn't pulled back there. And it was the creep that got tossed back instead. I know randomness and it's the closest target to Sweden Strong made a mistake with the blink. Well, I, I was trying to be nice to Sweden Strong, you know. We, we we don't want to accuse the players of outright mistakes. That's just rude. You, co you couldn't pronounce his name. Felt he was talking about it. Anyways, though. Still, Team Spirit, even if the CK gets tossed there, I don't know if it's the ideal scenario. You do have two heroes to pull people back, but having the Wisp and the Aegis, that would have been... Navi, they yeah. understand they, they have to fight with that. not getting back into the... Just allowing the enemy to take down all those. You have to battle. Well, we'll see what... I mean, collapse behind the tier 2. Gonna try and dive himself in to find out. Sweden Strong, though, in the trees away from that. And the tier 2. Spirit is stacking up. They're putting the pressure on it. And it's not even with 11 armor. Not gonna live through here. You can see that Maladie's trying to do his best to cut this creep wave. You'll keep the pressure off this tier 2. But it will eventually go down. Navi are trying to force out as much as they can from Team Spirit. Is it the positioning so that their Ursa knows that he's safe? Is it the BKBs? Uh, anything just to slow things down or at least give themselves some risk. It's, it's that kind of a scenario that you're in. There's a mix up of Asher other than the Blink, okay? I, I can get behind that toss back, Lasso, and you want to burst someone down. So they are <laughs> going for a win. This time around, I like to be just... Last game on a troll, I wasn't a fan, but but this kind of a bug actually does allow him to come back. You get a blink, you jump in, they kite you around, and it's over. You're you're dead after. This way, you're just hoping that your teammates, which might not happen, but it can happen, bring you the prey and you rip. Let's see if if Navi can execute. Did they get some? Yeah, Yataro, he's. I mean, he's got that Aegis for another two and a half minutes, so this does keep the. Uh, I was going to say the advantage in the side of Team Spirit, but it looks like Navi, they want to smoke out and maybe look to get a pick up here as um, Yataro, he's just pushing onto this tier 2 tower now as well. Now he's going to be coming close. Does he want to go for the overgrowth? Because he's still got the tether from Mira. So Mira, if there really is danger, Mira can pull him out with the relocate. Great, are, are very careful about how so they were diving before they were sub Now they're just even with the this they are trying to use the other part of their life. That is the ability to come in with all of their heroes without much, without much committal because they have a, a relocate. So they're pushing in all the lanes and they are the ones now forcing Navi to stay because they know that if they just run in, there is a chance to lose a fight. And another lost fight means that the game might not be even, but Navi here are in a position where they can dictate something rather than just wait for teams to do something and be uh, be ready with the results. Yeah, v -tune, like you say, he went for that basher after uh, the BKB, so he, he's more bothered about being able to finish the fights and engaging on them. And, I mean, you look at v -tune in terms of net worth behind, he's still about 5k behind Yotaro. How does he... Is he really bothered about catching up? Because, Or is it just down to the, the rest of his team to enable him in these fights? Because he, he did take a really good one when, you know, Spirit were splits up a little bit. It's better to be rich than to be poor. That's that's what I'm gonna say here. So he would like to 
to catch up, but it's not impossible for him to play the game. Hard. Yeah. He puts a lot of it on his team's shoulders. But of course, if he could, he would want to have more. Problem is, they're not controlling. They're just running where they think they're enemies. Yeah. Okay, and the smoke comes out from Spirit now as well, so we might see 30 seconds left on the Aegis. Yatoro might want to try and make some that happen with this Marty. He's going to be the furthest one forward, so the smoke is going to break. Collapse, though. He's going to get the drag by the lasso comes out. The right click's going to be the reality of coming through. And now the Phantasm, he might be able to take down BG, but bg has got the enrage. He's got that BKB trying to chase down his Collapse. Collapse is getting really down low. The Rolling Thunder just come through, and Yatoro, he takes down Marty. He might even be able to take down Sweden Strong as well. They both do have buybacks out of this. He forced out a Phantasm, but again, the Aegis is going to be really claimed that Nyatero, he's still going to be really happy with this. Everybody on the side of Team Spirit are still up, and they should be able to take down this tier 2 tower in the mid lane. No hesitation from Navi, but just a bit of it. That's, yeah. the, uh, that's the reality of it. Like, I liked what they did. I liked how they to deal with the current situation. It was just shown there. There and then, that collapses even get the Lotus Orb off, and you that, that is a big problem. Oh, look at this. The dive in as well. They're going to be able to take down Bichun. Bichun, he has no buyback. He's going to be dead for the next 50 seconds. Yeah, 200 gold away. So, uh, you know, a couple of bounty runes would be able to get him back in this game. But Navi just can't get themselves out of the base. And Spirit, they're going to claim at least a tier 3 tower, maybe even a lane of racks off this. And they're not the fastest to pushers, and they'll lose the Phantasm, but they'll have one fairly soon. The thing about that last fight is they caught Collapse, but Bichun didn't pop the BKB immediately. I think they didn't expect the potential of Yamoro jumping in. After that stun connected, it was, I think, certain that Collapse was going to survive and the fight was going to go badly for you. Yeah, um, now, lol. <laughs> I mean, he's going to be keeping himself away to, to push out the spot. I was just watching the celebration that coming out from Collapse as well, So because he does have the, the Aghrim Scepter up as well. So the uproar will be putting out the, the, the projectiles, you know, the waves that do split up. And he just, you know, he, he gets himself out. He's going to continue to push as well. Going on to this top lane now as well to apply the pressure. And you can see that Yataro, he's just going to continue. He's actually going to be going for the uh, the Mage Slayer into the Bloodstone as well, it looks like, as well, here on the Chaos Knight. Uh, before he goes back for anything like a, a BKB or something like that, he's he's so confident in the rest of the team for to be able to keep himself alive with the Phantasm there, with the AC, the Manta style as well, that he's not too bothered about the potential stun lock coming out for Navi. If you jump someone and that hero dies, the, the fight is over. Yeah. The thing right, is I'm that Navi it. don't have the gold so necessary to have the defensive items to help there. The only one that has a way to remove it is the Visage, but if it's done, he's not going to be able to use it. I'm liking the item. You know, that, that is the thing. Team Spirit want to jump in, burst someone. That's what their lineup is. I, I don't think it's built to do, but at this point in the game, this is how you break the formation of the enemies and fight completely. You destroy them completely and utterly. Let's say you get the science into Vitune and the stun, he's just gonna die without you. That's gonna be it. We'll see how they're gonna make this happen here. Nicky Cool, he's got himself the Blink Dagger, he's got himself the BKB, so he's got a good option to get in. But like you say, the last time they got in, they got into onto Collapse. Collapse with 3k health and 28 armor. He is a big, scurry beast, and it's so hard to take him down that. He's definitely not the target that you want to jump, but even if he gets involved in this fight, you know, it, the disruption that the Primal Beast offers as well, it, Navi just can't deal with it at the minute. He has 28 armor, but he also has the upper 20 more. 60, no wait, uh, 53, sorry, if uh, he has the Sea Kick. But that's the that's just a bit wrong. 48, sorry. Without the Seek. So, Collapse does not die. That is kind of the... Uh, uh, the conclusion that we're going to make. So, Navi needs yeah. to find another target. So, ideally, it's the Pango. He has the A on this. He doesn't die. C CK. Okay, CK is your target, but he's probably going to be staying behind. This is very tough for Navi. It's not like they have vision. I wouldn't want to be in this game. Spirit itemized so they, they don't get bursted. They don't get bursted down, they win the fight. 
Thank you. And, well, they might try and make a jump happen here. There's going to be the talkback as well, but like you say, Lal, he's going to be able to survive the load. So he even comes out afterwards. He's going to be able to pop the double damage rune here now as well. Get himself on top of the tiny, tiny score in the staircase. He's just going to be rolled down and get the kill. And the last one does come through, but again, the Primal Beast do have the damage this time. He pops that beacon. He's not going to be able to take him down. And they're even going to be able to get themselves on top of the laser. And Lay's not going to be able to get himself away from this one. Yatsuro gets the kill. So they're going to go even further. The buybacks come through from the two kills on the side of Navi. Can they get themselves into this fight before he goes overboard? And they take down V. Vichum's Vichum, dead. The freezing field. The celebrations comes out. They're going to be able to find the tiny again. The stun lock coming through. And they get the kill onto Sweden Strong. Lays. He needs to get himself back in the base. But the Rouser if comes out. He's going to be silenced. Collapse gets himself on top. The pulverizer is going to be there now as well. They're just absolutely cleaning up. That was the... Uh, you know, you can say best that Navi can hope for. In terms of how the fight is going to go. Uh, how things are going to develop inside of it. You initiate, you pop the end disc, you force out the rolling thunder, your support dies, you buy it back. So, it's 5 versus 5, still. And you're in an okay position.